Hello and welcome to GM Punk Hell in a Cell. First on the card, it's John Cena and Make-A-Wish Nick Nosedive against the Bloodline for the Tag Team Championships. And John Cena has given this lucky, lucky fan the wish of a lifetime. Nosedive Nick! Nosedive Nick is a WWE superstar and he's got that man to thank. It'll be Sick Nick and John Cena. Would you like that, kid? Sick Nick? I'm a wrestler. Is it going to be the best day of your life? I'm not here from Make-A-Wish. I'm a wrestler. Ah, so you are, kid. Isn't he cute, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. 998. Is it really wise to put the Make-A-Wish kid up against these two monsters? Oh, oh incredible, incredible spear! spear. Oh, Jesus Christ, the poor kid. The kid is lucky to come away with his life. And John Cena has just left No Five Nick lying, lying in, the, in ring. the ring. Then go and get us a championship match. Go on. Go and handle it, Solo. And we now know that John Cena will grant his 999th wish. But where is John Cena? That's the big question. Be careful what you wish for. Uno, dos, tres. And the bloodline are the first ever tag team champions on GM Punk, so put those ones in the air, or put two ones in the air. And what about those two ones? Yeah, fuck you, John Cena, and your Make-A-Wish. Uh, well, I suppose it's a good cause, really. But uh, next up, we've got Women's Queen of the Ring. This is a Queen of the Ring qualification match. Tiffany Stratton! He's headed to hell in a cell. And who will join Tiffany? It will be either Liv Morgan or a mystery opponent. She's here. Whoa. What power she possesses. Liv Morgan is in real trouble here. Or should I say die Morgan. <laughs> Keep fighting Liv, come on. Ow! What's this? She, she, she's picked up a boy in the audience. She, she's, she's got hold of a boy. Liv hits her from behind, thank God. She's got her down. One, two, three. That will go down as one of the strangest matches I've ever seen. Live. Die. Live. Die. Live. Die, live, die, hell of a cell. Right, it's one, it's two, it's three, and it's die, Morgan, because Tiffany Stratton advances to the final. Congratulations, Tiffany. But who will she face? Find out later in the show. But for now, it's Elton Prince. Yes, boy. Against uh, the fat one from the Creeds. Flippity flip, stunning move from Wally and the, the third guys come over. Face smack, face smack again. Stripe, he's wagging his finger, he's saying no. But Wally is the Intercontinental, Intercontinental Champion. Champion. No, boy, I am the Prince. This is treason of the highest order. Elton, Elton, my. Don't talk to me about all this Prince crap. This is the United States, mate. You're not the Prince here, okay? Can the Prince get revenge on Grayson Waller of the Commonwealth? He can! And with that noble victory, the Prince 
declares this state of Florida, Nebraska, to be part of the new United Princeton. Next stop, California, and the state itself is on the line. Yes, boy. Boy, 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 boy. Not so fast. <laughs> you can't go around claiming this country. I won't let you. I'm an NCAA All-American. And in hell in a cell, I'm going to stop your little capture the flag game. State of California on the line. It's Brutus Creed, by the way. Can he do enough to stop the little flag game? No, he can't. Yes, boy. Elton Prince and the United Princeton continue their dominance. Yes, boy. Boy, 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 boy. Right, second semi-final time, Tegan or Blair. So, let's see who wins. Blair versus Tegan Knox. Ooh, and it's Blair Davenport. Blair Davenport is in the Queen of the Ring. Can Tegan or Liv qualify? Tegan can, can, Tegan can, can. Tegan Knox takes on Blair Davenport. Who will go on to win the Queen Hold of on a minute. And... Why am I fighting Tegan again? I beat her last week. I should be straight in final. I think you should be made to qualify again. I don't see why I need to qualify again. But I'm warning you, Blair. I'm willing to go through anyone if it means getting my hands on you at Hell in a Cell, you plonker. I've never seen this before. A cameraman lost his job live on camera and leaving the stadium in disgrace with the camera. <laughs> Tegan has done it. Oh, we missed it, but uh, it will be Tegan versus Blair at Hell in a Cell. But it is as it was, as it was anyway, before it is, before it was. It's Blair Davenport, Tegan Knox. Time for the second semi final of the Queen of the Ring. Tiga Knox. Surprise victory, really. She'll take on Tiffany Stratton. That will happen at the next pay per view, whatever that is. Right next up is the main event, and it is for the WWE Championship. We've got Bron Breaker, Cody Rhodes, Dominic Mysterio, whose family is the royal family of WWE. And who is heir to the throne of that family? Find out now in Hell in a Cell. Uh, what's that? There's no Hell in a Cell, but it's... The, the show's called Hell in a Bloody... What do you mean we haven't unlocked it? Well, what am I supposed to... What am I going to say? TLC? Oh, for fuck. Hello, and welcome to GM Pog TLC. In a world where nobody's father ever won the big one, two men with a burning desire to finish the story. Cody Rhodes and Grog. Breaker. One, two, three. Oh, it's dirty down. This is a man whose father has won the championship and now looks like he's taking a claim to it. When you look at this family tree, it is proof that there is only one dominant and powerful royal family in professional wrestling. Cody wanted revenge on Mysterio for that interference last week. Can he get it? He can. Ooh, and a great match. 
It's my birthright to win the title. So how could I lose to Cody last week? I need to get stronger, faster, better. I'm the Ray in the family now. Why did you change your family name? Steiner not good enough for you? I am Cody Rhodes. My dad was a Rhodes. My brother was a Rhodes. And now I wear the name with pride. I got some big news, papi. I've been added to the match at LNSL. And he's going to be a triple threat. I'm going to be on pay-per-view, mommy. Blood is thicker than blood. <laughs> Bron Breaker, Bron, of course, meaning brown in Old English, so not sure if his name's racist or just a bit of toilet humour. <laughs> Cody Rhodes, his dad was a Rhodes, his brother was a Rhodes, and his brother was also gold, and that's the target now for Cody tonight. It's a shame that this belt is more of a kind of off yellow at best. And Daddy Dom, and hopefully tonight he can bathe. In some glory, at least. <laughs> Lord knows he, he needs it. Three men and a birdie flying above the ring. And who will finish the story tonight? And whose story will drag on for another couple of years? Dominic here giving Cody the best seat in the house. Oh, no, he's slipped. <laughs> he's hit Cody. And Dom is still trying to set up that chair for Cody. He's struggling badly. <laughs> Well, Braun's getting him another chair, that's very kind. Cameraman looking for one now, and oh, <laughs> Braun took the last chair. Well, you snooze, you lose, cameraman. There's nothing under the ring anymore. And Cody is in the air. He's trying to fly towards the title. And oh, <laughs> Braun puts him down. And where did Dominic get that table from? There was nothing under the ring a minute ago. I suppose that's why they call him Mysterio. <laughs> the title hanging above the ring, but perhaps what they don't tell you is that this whole sports center is just floating in the middle of space. Let's get a visual on that. Yeah, well, if you ever needed more evidence that we're living in a simulation, then... <laughs> Actually, I've never really thought about that before. Oh, oh what the hell is that? I don't need to see that. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's an ear. Oh, it's an ear. <laughs> oh, it had better be an ear. We've already lost one cameraman this month. <laughs> and Bron is climbing the ladder. He must win, surely. He's grabbing the title, but he, oh, it can't, it can't unfasten it. Jesus, what's happening? Oh, he's lost all dexterity. This is completely embarrassing for Bron. What? Oh, and Dom throws him off the ladder. Dominic Mysterio now has his chance to win. Cody's trying to jump up to Mysterio. Use the ladder, you idiot. It's bad luck to walk under a ladder. It's also incredibly stupid not to climb one. And Dirty Dom is the champion. And Dom nicked it at the end. But the real Mysterio is what the hell is wrong with Bron Breaker and Cody Rhodes. Talk about performance anxiety. And <laughs> talk about premature, because Dirty Dom is the WWE Champion. And it is Dirty Dom is the champion. The first ever champion on GM Punk. Unlucky Bron and Cody. But you're in a level three rivalry, which means you will have a number one contendership match at the next pay-per-view, but congratulations, Dom. You are Ray of the family. For now, because we're going to do a story about that later on, I think. So stay tuned. Right, let's find out what happened uh, on the shite. Right, Bray versus Finn. Come on, Bray. Mm, he retains. Well done, Bray. Amazing. Right, Kit Wilson, the little rat, in tag team action. 
Yes, boy, Kit Wilson in the bin, Elton Prince, a win on pay-per-view. Fuck you, ECW, you little rats. Let's have quiet, please. Chad Gable gets the victory in the shush off. 127k. That's pretty good. And a little bit of money, not too much though. We still can't afford the biggest stadium. But let's read the tweets. Um, did you guys? Super Hotel 98 says, Did you guys see Sammy Vortex jump live? Totally uncalled for, dude. Um, it was a big part of the show, to be honest. In fact, it was a big part of the story leading up to it. I even said that she was going to run out and attack Liv in the little graphic before the match. So you're not big and you're not clever by pointing that out. In fact, you're, you're, it's just the type of people that's watching my show. And John Cena's written in. He says, sorry, I let everyone down. Promise I'll do better. Oh no, John, you can't think like that. I mean, what you did for that poor child was fantastic. We love you, John. Keep doing what you're doing. Right, we're in second place. Can't believe that after the terrible first four weeks. But we're back in business. There's life in the old dog. Um, we've got no women's champion. But let's get one in the next month. Uh, what else? More shenanigans, to be honest. Don't want to miss out on the shenanigans, do you? Look. Ah, duh.